This is a stoat, also known as public enemy number one for New Zealand's birds. This adorable predator has wreaked havoc on the country's ecosystem, which has led New Zealand to consider using a new biotechnology to kill off stoats permanently. People have been altering the DNA of living things for decades. Now a powerful new form of genetic engineering called a gene drive could alter the DNA of an entire species, or even eradicate it. But as with any groundbreaking new technology, there could be unforeseen consequences. But we'll get back to that. Here's how gene drives work. When an animal reproduces, it has a 50% chance of passing on a particular gene to its offspring. But scientists can now edit an animal's DNA to increase that chance to almost 100%. And as it reproduces, the vast majority of offspring begin to carry that altered genotype. One way scientists could use a gene drive is by implanting a gene into the stoat to reduce its fertility, leading the population to eventually die off. For years, New Zealand has tried to rid itself of these predators. It's tried poison, baits, traps, but stoats still contribute to killing about 25 million birds each year. But unleashing this technology into the wild could have some pretty dire consequences, potentially global ones. Scientists behind the gene drive are concerned that it might work a little too well. If those engineered stoats escape to other ecosystems, for example, they could spread their infertility to unintended locations. In a far-fetched worst-case scenario, those stoats could theoretically kill off the entire world's stoat population. As you might imagine, that would be a pretty big problem. But conservationists are desperate for powerful, fast-acting solutions in the face of serious environmental issues. Gene drives have the potential to make mosquitoes resistant to carrying diseases like malaria, or repair entire ecosystems by breeding coral reefs that can withstand rising ocean temperatures. Estimates suggest that Earth's vertebrate species are going extinct at a pace a hundred times faster than typically expected. Gene drives could help stem those losses. That is, if the technology doesn't create new problems of its own.